Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on the pink border. I've got my yarn off to the side. Again, I'm going to go ahead and do a slip knot. I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna go into this gap right here. So my knot's on this one, and I'm gonna go into this one here. Tighten my slip knot around my hook. Under. Now it's attached. And I'm going to chain two. Yarn over. And I'm going to go into this bump right here. I'm going to do three double crochets into the stitch. One. two, three, and I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go into this stitch here, working over my tail. And this time I'm going to do three treble crochets. So yarn over, yarn over again, go into the stitch, pull through, oops, that tail, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. That's one. So we're going to do it again. Two, 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 we got two, and over twice, in, pull through, Well, I'm going to tail. Pull through two, two, two. That's three. Now we're going to chain two. This is going to be the corner of our square. I'm going to go ahead and do three more treble crochets in that same stitch. So yarn over twice, pull through two loops, yarn over two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over twice, two, 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 twice, two, two, two. Now we have six in that one hole. That's the corner there. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one. Now we're gonna work three double crochets in this stitch right here. Three, chain one. Do another three in this one. And chain one again. And now this one's going to be another corner. So we're gonna do six of them again with a chain two in the middle. Okay, so my camera cut off, but I went ahead and I did um, the three trebles, chained one, and did three doubles. I'm gonna do another three doubles here. Then this one's gonna be a corner. I'm gonna do three doubles, three doubles, corner, and then two doubles here because I already have the chain two that counts as a double crochet. So I'm gonna go all the way around and meet you back right here. Okay, so I just finished my last corner. I'm gonna do two double crochets in this stitch here. One and two. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into this one here. I'm not too picky how that part looks since it's gonna be the edge. and tie it off. Now I know they say you're supposed to now press them flat or um, get them to set with the corners 
nice and straightened out. I'm not being, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm shaking this. Um, I'm not being too particular about it, which I know I should, but hey, that's just me. Again, it's my first time. So what you wanna do is put the border on all of them. I actually have a whole bunch more to do, not just these four right here. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to attach the squares to each other. So okay. one moment. So I have a set of three that are already attached to each other and I'm going to add this one to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the right sides facing in and line up the corners. I'm going to take some more of the pink yarn and do a slip stitch. Or not a slip stitch, I have a, uh, yeah, yeah, slip stitch, sorry. And I'm gonna go into there's two here. We're going to go into this first one and just the front loop. Sorry. So you see how there's the chain two right there? So that's a treble and a treble. So I have two stitches here. Since I'm working this way, I'm going to take the loop that's facing me and only the one loop. And on this one, we're going to look at the two trebles. And there's two in the middle and I'm going to take the one that is furthest away from me. So we're working the back loops only. I'm going to take yarn, pull that loop tight, go through both of those. And I'm going to chain one to attach it. Next I'm going to go to this back loop here and I'm going to take this back loop here. Now I am going to work over my tail with it there. Pull yarn through, yarn over, and two loops. So, sorry, I keep pulling it close to myself. So back loop, back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two loops. It is a little tricky to hold, and I keep bringing it closer to myself so I can see it, but back loop, back loop, keep my tail under there, pull yarn through, and pull through two. And that's what we're going to do all the way across and it's going to seal it up. Okay, so I'm about to sew in the last one or crochet the last one. So I'm going to go in this loop here. That's on the chain that's in um, the corner. And I'm going to grab this one here. And that is it. Now when I have the two pieces, the two ends that are here that are kind of across from each other, I go ahead and tie those together um, just so it's a little bit more secure in my opinion. Um, it, it does not say to do that in the pattern, but that's what I'm going to do. So now that I've crocheted it all across, this is what it looks like on the front. Like that. So you could sew them together if you wanted to rather than crocheting them. But the pattern did say to crochet them, and I do like the way it has that little um, line kind of forming now. So that's how you're going to do it. Um, again, you're going to put however many together you need in order to create your cardigan. I'm not going to tell you how many it says in the pattern just because I don't have permission to do so. But this is half of a sleeve from um, the one that I'm making. So I have to put eight together total to make the whole sleeve. And I also have what's going to be the back of the cardigan here. So it's several of them there. And you would just need to put together again, however many you need to. Um, and the way I figured out for mine, I didn't quite follow along. Um, I am making a little bit of a change to it is I just grabbed a t-shirt that I knew was the size that I needed 
and I laid my squares across as I was um, sewing them together just to figure out how many I was going to need. So that's a great way for you to do it too. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish off all of my little daisies, putting borders around them, and then I'm going to sew them all to, or crochet them all together as needed. And hopefully I'll give you an update on what the final cardigan looks like. Again, I'm gonna have a lot to weave in, especially on the back. So there are a ton of ends here, and this is the part I am dreading, but that's okay. It's going to look beautiful when it is all done, and I am going to go back in and tighten these guys up, but I know that once I actually weave in the yellow ends here, that circle will stay um, tightened up the way I want it. So hopefully... Right after this, you'll see an update of what the cardigan looks like. And I hope I don't forget that part. All right, so this is the final cardigan. It came out really good. I had a hard time doing the cuffs. And um, I went ahead and I actually changed what I did here on the edging from what was actually in the pattern. It was supposed to be the same as the cuffs, but it kept coming out too roughly for me and I didn't like it. I'm not sure if I missed where there was supposed to be a change in um, hook size or something for it, but either way, I made my little adjustment and I think it came out really well. I can't put it on because I made it for my cousin, so it actually fits her and not me. I'm gonna wait and see what she says and then I'll make any other adjustments to the edging that I need to. And that'll be it. Hey Rebel.